Hi everyone. <laughs> Let's give her a couple minutes. She's notoriously late. Oh my god, 400 people? Jesus! I can't. Well, anyway, hi! <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Shut up, Shay. I see you. I don't even want to hear it. <laughs> Hold up. This might be, this might be turn into something more difficult. Hold on. Hold on. Fab. She's not here yet, everybody. Everything's good. Everything's great. Brandon, everyone knows. We can see it. You know? We know. Anyway. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Hi, Charles. Hi, Kyle. Yeah. I've had a long day. I'm doing good. This is the last of it. Let's just make sure, just in case I'm like trying to do this all at the same time here. Don't worry guys, I did text her and I did say, don't forget. How are you guys? I'm drinking whiskey and strawberry. I'm Sin, by the way, if you didn't know. Um, yeah. Hey, Jam. Yeah, this is a lot. A lot of people are here right now. Wow, a thousand people. Anyway, so while we're waiting, I guess I'll just talk about my day a little bit. Um, and we'll get into it, really get into it. Um, but I've been promoting my song Drinks at radio, which means during quarantine times that I'm basically doing just a lot of like live streams. Um... <laughs> and talking to radio programmers about why they should play my song. So, I have a new song at Pop Radio. It's called Drinks. If you want to call your radio station and request it, that would mean a lot to me. Yeah. My mom is texting me. Talk about your music and smile. Yes, mom, I do plan, I plan on that. I do. All right, let me just Double, double check. All right. <laughs> hey, girl. So I'm late. What are you going to do about it? Go and get mad and have drinks. I mean, I'm not <laughs> mad. I'm just glad you're here. And so is everybody else. <laughs> um, I tried on 15 different pairs of earrings. You look pretty. Okay. Thank you. You're hope welcome. This, hope this one um, works. I love your bucket hat. Thank you. It's been my quarantine uniform. And your brick wall. It's very New York of you. Thank you. That's why I live here, because I'm pretending that I'm in New York. <laughs> <laughs> There's more where How that are you? Though, for sure. Um, I'm good. I'm just, you know, another day, another bra that doesn't fit. Oh, shit. <laughs> your lashes look good how did that happen did you do them yourself i did them myself they look amazing thank you so much the glue is still drying it looks really good um and well i've had them some masters carve out this potato face a few times so i have learned a lot um, don't even say that you look so pretty natural 
Oh my God, no, I don't. Yes, I don't you care. do. No, I you do I... because you're still in your 20s. Oh, sure. um, I'm getting a drink. Oh. Yeah, Anyone else getting, getting a drink? I'm just trying to find what kind I have of mine. I'm gonna... You what? I have mine. You know, I, I can't. Are you jealous like... or are you feeling really like clear and good? No, because it's not like you're feeling clear. You're like, like you got, sorry, this is my. You have like a whole nother brain developing in your belly. You got two brains and you got hormones. And Goodness. Um, I wish I could see you. I'm sure you're so beautiful with your belly. I'll show you in a minute. I just got to sit down and stuff, you know, I just plug my ring light in. Girl, take your time. I'm just happy you're, you're here. Kind of I'm excited. We are having drinks. I want to know what everyone else is drinking. Drop yes. your drink of choice in the comments. Ooh! Did you hear the good news? I don't think you've heard the good news yet. Yes, girl. I run your record label. Did I know you've been added a bunch to bunch of different rec to a bunch of different radio stations. Congratulations. You think I don't know things, girl? Listen, I know you I've know done things, this I before also for you. <laughs> Well, shit, I don't know, like, I don't know who's saying what, like. <laughs> okay, if you're just tuning in, hi, guys. Um, it's Katy Perry and Cynthia Lovely. Um, okay, Sin. Sin, yes, C-Y-N um, is how you do it. But if you don't know Sin, Sin is um, the very first artist I got to sign on my tiny, tiny, tiny little record label called unsub tiny 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 please. it's tiny and it's it what did we start working together about three uh, years ago and change that's right mm -hmm. and just been developing and writing so many songs and putting out amazing songs and now she has her own little group of sinners They've been really popping off on Twitter. I don't know if you've seen it. I have. I mean, you're a really good responder. It's like you are, you are alive. You are engaged. It's crazy because I've never felt more confident and secure. It's like it took quarantine for me to confess who I really am, which is really strange. But well, I don't know if any of us have another choice. That's right. Should I get Nugget in here? She's always fun to bring. Come yeah. here. Oh, gosh. I'm going to go. Hold on. Okay. I'm going. Hold on. But I think um, I should probably talk about, like, how I met you, because that's, like, a constant question that I have before we get yeah, into Yeah, girl. The should I just, like... Sit down and turn on the ring light. All right. You do that. Uh, but by the way, how are you? I mean, I know you. I've been seeing that you've been thriving and painting and creating and you know <laughs> I just think anyone that's thriving in week eight of quarantine is an absolute psycho <laughs> well I am <laughs> you know that <laughs> yeah, I do. that's what my friend Sophia said to me okay I'm here Woo! Ooh, looking good oh gotta put my feet up oh my goodness I can't believe you're gonna be a mom. I've always been a mom. Yeah, that's true. I've always been a mother. <laughs> but um, I'm. I mean, I'm just so happy for you, and I'm yes. glad that the whole world knows because it was hard <laughs> to keep that secret for months. You were actually one of the first um, handful of people that knew, because yeah. we just went on a trip to Dubai. And I had told you because I wanted to spend some time with you. And I was like, do you want to come on this random trip to Dubai? And I was like, yep, oh. two days later. <laughs> and so I was like, well, if I'm not drinking much, it's because. Right. And that but it was, was more so like, I'm falling asleep at the table. And this is why. Like, yeah, also jet lag, guys that too and you were performing and you were oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, let's talk that. about you first and foremost this is sin if you guys don't know her she's amazing she has a song called drinks out um it's a cute little lullaby for alcoholics um, <laughs> which is not what i'm saying at radio pro <laughs> but like for now it's fine sure <laughs> um sin how young are you i am gonna be 27 on may 13th 
Oh, my, you are. That's so soon, right? I know. Not I know. a quarantine birthday. I got to get in my car and honk at you from outside the window or oh, something. Oh, no, no. You don't have to do all that. But yeah, yeah. quarantine birthday. Oh. I don't know. I don't care. I'm so happy with everything that's going on with drinks and with all of the fans on Twitter and stuff. Honestly, I feel so surrounded by love. Like, I'm having... I'm, this is all very transformative. I feel really close to myself. It's really good. Well, yeah, you're, you're the only one that's been with you for the longest time. <laughs> so if you ain't close to yourself now, you ain't gonna get closer, y'all. You know what I mean when you, when you don't have to focus, when you can't focus inward and then you finally have to. I know, I know. I mean, but I have a question, though. Like, this is probably, like, the first time you've been able to spend time with your, like, sig other like right like so close so like how's that um if you cannot love each other i mean if you my saying is if you don't love me if you love me i'm botching my own saying. if you love me during quarantine you can love me any other time because quarantine probably reveals the most about you i mean you can't even hide your foot fungus anymore it is just out there i mean i, I used to have it but i don't have it anymore <laughs> um <laughs> but you can't hide anything you gotta go and like you know it's like this is this is this is me no this i is feel it. Like all of my friends my sister's going through a breakup like so many oh, people really? i know yeah she's totally fine she's great but like Every, it's kind of like if you don't love me during quarantine you're never gonna love me and that's that was what it. i was going for yeah yeah um so, so let's talk about the genesis of sin um yeah. around three years ago let's talk about how you came to be and how we crossed paths and now right. we're working together and now you're popping off like a baby bottle pop Aw. Well, it's like a fairy tale story in a way, kind of. Um, when I was 17, 18, definitely, I was 18. I went to your California Dreams tour, and I saw your opening DJ. You and Dua Lipa. Uh, huh? I said you and Dua Lipa. Really? Dua, Dua Pipa. I didn't know that. That's cool. Yeah. Huh. You know. Well, at that tour, I noticed uh, Twitter was, like, just a thing. And so... I started following Trevor, DJ Skeet Skeet, on um, Twitter. And then it kind of, like, for the le next, like, few years, it was, like, he would tweet, who's writing music? And I would be, like, me. And I would, like, send him these, like, really shitty demos. And it wasn't until I started connecting with people in Chicago when I was in college. I, and uh, they were, like, real producers. Um, and I started having, like, a decent handful of demos. And then Lauren Glucksman got a hold of those demos. And Shout then, out, babes. <laughs> and then you got a hold of those demos. And, of course, there was, like, a formal vetting process thing that happened. But it was pretty casual. I just ended up in your living room. And your parents were just leaving. And I was nervous as hell. You came I, in. And I was like, audition. No, yep. You basically were. And you were like, to your mom, you were like, her name is Sin. But you don't like. I remember that. I always love to poke my mom like that. It's funny. Um, and then yeah, you played so some songs on the piano. And mm -hmm. we talked about my future. Like, do I want to do music videos? Do I want to go on tour? I think my answer to everything was yes. Yes, all of yeah, it. Of course, <laughs> all of it. Mm -hmm. and, and now even more. I mean, you've, the sky's the limit. You, I think you check so many different boxes and you could be whatever you want. You're an incredible actress. Um, what people may or may not know about you is a lot of the videos that you've made, you've come up with the ideas, you've like co-directed them. You've, you know, you, you remind me of myself in a lot of ways. And that's Which is such a compliment. Well, and that's why I was drawn to you, not because I'm a narcissist, but just because I was like, I know the hustle and I know what it takes to get to where you want to go and you've got the hustle and the drive and it's not like you're waiting for everyone to do um everything for you you're like mm -hmm. i'm just gonna do it you know what? i'm not gonna yeah. wait for the answer anymore because this is taking too freaking long so i'm just gonna go and hustle my butt and do it right um which helps 
like having you on speed dial because like for the I can't believe video, you know, I texted you that Friday and I was like, hey, can I do this? And you were like, yup. And these are the these are the stipulations, but go for it, girl. And I was like, cool. I was like, just do it and don't spend any more money than this amount. Yep. It was like, I felt like I was like talking to my cool aunt and she was like, yeah, girl, go shop. Your cool aunt helping you with your science project? <laughs> yeah, kind of. Um, but no, thank you for the compliment. <laughs> no, um, so if you're not following Sin, if you're tuning in on my Instagram, come here. Um, follow Sin on her Instagram, Cynthia Lovely, obviously. She's very active. Like I'm I was sorry about 20s. it. No, I, I mean, I, I'm going to be more active pretty soon, but I'm growing things. Yeah. I'm trying to like pace myself. I but like um, so many, so many people though, like love you and you know, like, I think they really want to see you become a mom and stuff, you know? So wow. that'll be good when, when you start sharing these things. That's nice. I'm trying to encourage you. This is me encouraging you. I mean, I love all my children equally. Besides mm -hmm. you. <laughs> or I'm just pattering myself. No, you know, screenshots are forever. Yeah, get it. Um, <laughs> what was I going to say? Um, so tell me about how you came up with drinks, the song today that we are celebrating because it's Sinco de my oh mm -hmm. right but with the sin with the cyn you like that pun kind of that play on words was that your idea no actually it wasn't it but I, I think it was our friend matt um was but, it really uh, yeah it was someone i mean our whole team has a very punny approach they really do <laughs> but tell me about how you came up with drinks as a powder my face sure. um, and what was the feeling behind the song drinks that you guys should check out especially now in quarantine especially today Cinco de Mayo especially over a margarita or your favorite Sancerre whatever you please um, we are all kind of drinking in this quarantine I mean I'm not but right I still believe you better have a dirty martini waiting for me <laughs> Um, so the inspiration behind drinks and like usually what I say is uh, the facts are the facts. He got mad, so I got drinks. And Alexa knew the bartender, so all the drinks were free. Like Alexa, an Amazon girl or no? No, Alexa's my bestie, my real bestie. And you her, know her. Real, you know, I know, but her real name is Alexa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't know if, if when you play the song that Alexa like is triggered because mine is set to echo Ugh, now it's going off but anyway alexa, <laughs> alexa came over and was like you need to change it because i'm feeling dehumanized so i had to change my devices to say echo but anyway um yeah so is that song. is about a relationship you were in or are in or you know yeah, but the children in. don't know yeah they don't know i'm, I'm trying know. to be like an interviewer well, you're doing a great job. Okay, fine. <laughs> um, I'm not in a relationship. I was, but not anymore. Um, as soon as it was over, I could be me again, which is another lyric from the song. <laughs> um, yeah, I really, I think I wrote the song in the hook as kind of like a joke. Honestly, I, I thought that like, like, let me just fool around on the track and say he got mad, so I got drinks. And then I think I maybe reeled it in with the verses a little bit. They're, like, more in-depth and mm -hmm. not as throwaway. And, like, even the – I don't, wouldn't say that the, the hook is throwaway, but you know what I mean when it's, like – It's a – you know what it is? It's a hooky little ditty that's fun and the soundtrack to going out, you know? Yeah. I mean, but you run the gamut as far as the different subject material that you cover, like – I mean, uh, I'll still have me, which is a song that you, you put out almost what a year a year ago and change. Honestly, it's like think I think it'll be two in September. Time flies, um, and that has a lot of depth to it. And you know, you've got a bunch of songs. One of the songs that was on the um, 
I'm Pregnant Brain film? Um, Birds of Prey. Lonely Birds Gun. of Prey. Lonely Gun, which is yeah. great. You're a fantastic writer. Um, <laughs> you are getting, you know, all kinds of um, fun shine from different people like ASCAP. I and... know that's really sweet. Did you hear about that? that little... I did. Are you allowed to talk about that? I don't know. But anyway, I kind of got like a little award from ASCAP, which was like a little scholarship, which I'm like grateful for. But yeah, they picked you out of all the songwriters, you know, right now and in ASCAP and ASCAP is great. Um, they picked you as one of their top songwriters and you are one of the top songwriters. I mean, you are such an incredible writer, which I think is one of the most important things about being an artist is to be able to vocalize who you are and your identity. And you have such a strong identity thank you i mean i have the best to look up to stop sucking my butt you deserve it okay more fun <laughs> stories <laughs> what was i gonna say though I, oh i was gonna say going back to like versatility and things like that like i saw a comment on the drinks video which was like this is a big difference from like i'll still have me or whatever and i just thought I'm, i think back to like when we were on the beach in Dubai and I was like, but this song and this song and this song sounds like this and this song sounds like that. And you were like, don't put limits on yourself. And then from then on, like when I have conversations and like, let's say I have meetings and you're not there, like I usually lead with, well, Katie doesn't think it's a problem. Like, you know, like all of the songs and how they sound so different. And so I really think about that. And well, I've been... I think, I mean, in my own personal music, I've done a lot of that. I've tried out many different sonic styles and beds. And, you know, it would probably be different if you were an acoustic artist or you were like a heavy metal artist or whatever. If, if you were such a specific, distinct genre. But pop really is short for popular. And so I think you can experiment and not put limits on the textures and sounds. And, you know, I also believe like women are not just one thing. We're so multifaceted. Right. Like I'm every woman. It's all in me. Hello. Why do we get the choice to make human life? Because we got all the tools and more. <laughs> we just need that one little ingredient. Um, <laughs> no. Yeah. I agree. Science. <laughs> um, I was going to say something, though. I'm blanking. I have quarantine brain. It's okay. Your brain. I, I read something on um, Cleo's Instagram the other day mm. about how your brain is just generally exhausted and shutting down because of all of the anxiety and small tasks that are new tasks that everyone's doing that they're not used to. Mm -hmm. um, I do a lot of sweeping. I and me too. Too. I, yeah. I mean, I feel like I'm constantly doing dishes, to be honest. I'm like, why is it just never ends? But yeah, dishes are never done. It's an evil, evil thing. Definitely. Um, I was going to say, oh, I, oh well, I was going to say, like, when, when it comes to the sound, though, I think maybe you can agree with me, like, it's either like a really, really, really emotional stripped acoustic ballad. Or it's like this, like complete opposite, like super pop driven production, big hook. Like, I feel like I like teeter between those two things. Yeah. I mean, and then, you know, I think it's, it's then again, it's, it's drinks. It's this little ditty drinks that goes round and round is, you know, like, it's just like a catchy little hook too. I, I think you have the capacity to do whatever you want and mm -hmm. I'm glad that you don't put limits on your art, you know? Yeah. Well, you know what it's like as well, like bouncing around from studio to studio. Like there's so many incredible writers in LA and like you're in the room with one person and then you make a record that sounds like this because they're so good at that sound. And Yeah, yeah. It rubs off. Yeah. Suddenly you, you have find like, your collaborators. Yeah. Or, or you just find like a handful that all have really distinct sounds and then you have like a handful of really distinct sounding songs. Like, you know, but yeah. Do you want to talk about, um, you're about, I, I was never going to go on tour and I know a lot of things were mm. rescheduled because of all this, but you were about to head out on a tour 
and how you're feeling about that and what happened and you know what plans or dreams do you hope for after all this is kind of has kind of subsided yeah well actually i i haven't been able like i didn't tell you this yet but i think i said i texted austin recently and i was like i really Your need manager. to my manager correct sorry i forget there are people watching um yeah we're not my, just on facetime yeah whoops uh, girl i ain't just gonna a, i ain't gonna put a lash on you just for facetime <laughs> um but i texted austin and i was like this is the first time i feel like i really need like i did with my writing i need to step up the live show and so i'm feeling like thankful that things got postponed because i want to really get crazy and like buckle down and make sure that like i seem like that my my stage presence and my live show matches like i think my caliber of writing which i'm which i think is getting to a good spot um so i'm thankful i'm i'm bummed that it was it's being pushed back and but it seems like i have a lot of growing to do and i need to like spend time contemplating it still so yeah well i think a lot of it comes from experience too so yeah. you were i'm sure when you came on the road f with my tour last tour you were you were like from the moment you started to the moment you finished you probably got to learn a lot oh my god i mean i i always say like you you really threw me to the sharks and hello calling me i'm back though i'll tell you about it later <laughs> anyway um you call really, him back you really really threw me to the sharks on that tour the left like, sharks yeah the left sharks i always say that um because and then and then i always like look back on it, i'm like if i could get on stage and open f for you i can do anything like I'm not afraid to do whatever in a music video or, you know, I, I'm not, I'm just, I'm so much braver because of that experience. And I feel so confident, like. Then you were on tour with years and years, right? Years and years, yeah. And those were like way different kinds of rooms. So it went from, what are they called? Stadiums? Not no, arenas. No, no, no. Arenas. Arenas, yeah, no, I don't know the difference. So you're in arenas, and then I went to like small. The fans schools. do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they do. Um, yeah, so sorry, arenas, right? To small theaters, and also I wanted to say, do you remember? I texted you, and I was like, I had a dream. You and Orlando were engaged, and then I saw you at a Years and Years show, and I was like, or and then you were like, sing, sing, tell Orlando about your dream. And I had to tell him about the dream. So I just thought that was funny. It was inevitable. Yeah, it was. That's so sweet. But yeah, it's just, it's been, I mean, I was thinking about it. Like, what do you think? Like, when I walked into your living room, I mean, I'm like, a, you're, di you're a different girl. I'm a different girl. It's a different yeah, world. Yeah, every, every day we're different. And we're the type of young ladies that strive to evolve and you know, learn different skills and, and tools that help us in our evolution every day. I mean, I don't want to be who I was when I was 21. And I certainly am not or even 27. Mm -hmm. um, a whole different person. And I'm happy for the change. Um, but I think when I saw you, when I first met you, I thought, okay, she's like a she's, you're so beautiful. You look like, you know, a girl that is like a catalog, cozy, Connecticut, wearing a sweater, you know, name yeah. jacket. We all know what you think I, what was, who did you tell me I, you, I remind you of? I don't know. What the fuck's her name? Um, with the suits. What did you text me that night? Oh, shit, I can't remember. The suits. When I was sending you, you look like, you said you look like so-and-so or whatever. Oh, well, you're like a, I, I mean, this is the highest compliment, like a Natalie Portman. Oh, thank you. I mean, I, like she's a legend on her own, but, uh, but you I definitely, anyways, so, so presentationally, 
it's great. And then you sing with this, first and foremost, you sing with this incredible kind of like intimate jazz soft tone mm -hmm. that really beckons the listener to like tune in. It's, you can't like just put it on as background. You have to really, your ear just naturally tunes into your type of voice because it's, it also reminds me of like Cardigan's Love Fool, you know, very sweet. Yeah. You have a, like a little bit of a Lisa Loeb face, like, <laughs> and you're not shy. You've got so much chutzpah and, you know, you've got dreams. And, you know, I remember when I first met you, you, you were not shy about your dreams and, you know, when you first meet someone, they tell you everything they want to do and how they're going to do it. And you're like, okay, 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 <laughs> okay. One step at a time. <laughs> yeah. uh, we'll get there. But, you know, if you can go the distance, you do get there eventually. It just, you can't skip the steps and you have to, you have to really put in the work and the patience is wild. I mean, remember where you were three years ago and like you're like why isn't it happening now and you're yeah, in the, gr I couldn't you're have in the grind now you were right and, i needed to and wait. it's still happening and it's on the up you know it's starting to really like you know kick off especially with drinks um but it's just wild that it takes a long time sometimes it does take a long time i mean we even had like a whole other ep planned before mood swing and i'm really glad that like that wasn't it you know did i just i just uh flash just room. flashed my dirty bed because i was like trying to tap on bradford's comment who said he's like i'm a sinner <laughs> <laughs> that's sweet oh actually i saw matt commented um Diane Keaton, who you told me I looked like. Don't worry, your bed looks fine. Oh, uh, no, it's fine. Um, I love my bed. Um, Diane Keaton, yeah. I, well, we were having a conversation about your music video, and this is how um, Joan Crawford, Mommy Dearest, I am with you about everything. Or, you know, I like to be involved as much as you'll have me involved. Oh, and I want to hear your opinion on everything. Everyone the conversation that. was completely, you know, the conversation is always open. That's the thing about the team that we've created and the team I've created for myself is like, it's a bad deal when you, um, when you are surrounded by yes people, you got to have some devil's advocates. You got to have some outside the box type thinkers. Um, and I think you have that and we have that as a team, but um, I was doing some healthy discourse with you you were I was just, we should just let them know what we're talking about okay so sin made a video for the song drinks and I was like it's coming out in the spring like you know you maybe don't like wear the suit. I was like don't wear a turtleneck I mean you look <laughs> like Diane Keaton who is amazing but you're 27 and it's different although a lot of like I think looking like Diane Keaton at 27 is bomb too. It's just, I was like having this conversation about all of it. Very fr frankly, you know, mm -hmm. I don't mince my words. Well, I think like the part of working with a team is like, you're very right about a lot of things. And I'm very right about a lot of things and like have, maneuvering that intelligently, like knowing when to step down and when, uh, when to step up is like, part of it that's like what happens especially if there are any young artists that aren't signed yet and they're watching like be prepared to have to explain your ideas because that's just the way it goes uh i'm sorry you don't explain your ideas you have a freaking powerpoint presentation i mean she's got like bullet points it's like a whole pdf i'm like okay girl, i went to college me... <laughs> i didn't go to college but i'm good and besides, like they're PDFs. One photo, a one reference. They're photo. PDFs. They're not PowerPoints. I don't have PowerPoint anymore. I don't know. It's I know this is like a reference from two thousand and one, but I'm old, so what? Oh my god, no. But but yeah, no. But I think the suit ended up working well. What do you think? Yeah, I like it. You got many <laughs> more. You have many more music videos to make. Now, thank you. Yeah. That means I get to make more. Woohoo! Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, uh -huh. Some of us have to work. 
<laughs> um, so I wanted to say, if you haven't heard this song, it's called Drinks. You can check it out on every streaming platform ever. And right now, actually, um, radio, like your local radio station, like your local pop radio station, is debating if they're going to put it on their radio, if they're going to add it to their station. And I think what you should do is you should pretend like it's early 2000s, even though it already feels like early 2000s right now. You should call up your radio station. You should say, hello, I am requesting to hear Drinks by Sin. That's C-Y-N. And that's what you'll be in if you don't play it. <laughs> That's what you'll be in if you don't. <laughs> you'll be living in sin. I love that. Awesome. You'd rather live with sin than living in sin. <laughs> well, thanks for saying that. It's really sweet. Wait, How I got to do well. Uh oh. Dun, 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 dun. I'm sorry. I'm, uh, okay. I had to close out some of my online shopping apps so True. I could save my battery. Have you been doing <laughs> a lot of that? Yeah. I mean, like, no one's going nowhere. So add to cart. I've been, like, in, or I mean, Amazon Prime lists. Like, I have a list for, like, when so-and-so comes to visit. I'm like, I need to buy all these things before they get here. You know? Oh, that's good. I love a list. Yeah. It's been helping with my anxiety. But anyway, let me think if I have any other questions for you because I wrote down some things. Um, well, I have to ask you what you what like, I know you've only been we've only been working together for like three years, but what advice or what would you tell Cynthia three years ago? Now that you know and have written 300 bazillion songs and mm -hmm. are on uh, the upward climb on the mountain i mean to be honest i don't know if i've told you this before but when i first signed and i think this is kind of inevitable you just like you feel this pressure you like you consider who your label is and you think about what their expectations could possibly be and you can't help it that like influences you and i think in the beginning i like went from this like lo-fi neo soul jazz into this like pop world because i thought this is what's gonna spark my label's ear nobody even told me that's what i had to do so if i had to go back i would say don't worry about conforming to what you think people expect from you when you sign you're being signed because you're being developed because you're you and you need to be developed and so i wish i would have known like you know, add to the sound that's already been happening independently. Don't do a, a complete pivot from it. And I think I did that on accident, but I got closer to it again with Also Have Me. Um, so that would be what I would give myself, like that kind of advice. And maybe don't cut your hair off like that to me. But I went through I, some shit. Listen, I did it. I cut well, my hair off too. It's to, like I was just like, I was over it. I was like... What, are you gonna like just are oh, no. you gonna just like see me hello i mean but you had your whole journey with like you you were already there and whatever else i complete i like changed i signed and then i like wasn't even no one knew me and i had to completely change my look and everything and I, and i i don't even think i knew how to deal with that so i'm looking back on those photos it's stupid it's just hair it doesn't matter Young artists, don't pay attention. Just focus on your sound and your art. <laughs> yeah, we're blabbing because we're yep. having a five o'clock Senco de Mayo drinks. <laughs> That's yeah. the theme of today. What are you drinking? Are your comments coming through? I wanted to answer any of the questions. The um, Senate questions. Yeah, are they frozen? Let me, let me click on them. No, I've got some questions. Let's see. Hello. Whoa. Am I here? Can you hear me? This whole time I could have had a filter. The fuck? You do not need a filter. I am done with you thinking that you're old and stuff. You're not. Uh, Y'all, yeah. Cynthia, I don't think Stop it. Old. It's just a bit. You don't have a single thing. I saw you fresh face in your car. Okay, that's a lot. 
I saw your fresh face in your car and I was like, you look like you look in your 16 year old pictures. Like mm. you do. Sorry. I'm just trying out. Oh, oh girl. I'm trying it. I didn't even know. Ooh, I could have gotten, I could have gotten a lot more creative with this. Oh let's, my God. I'll just go back. I must be drunk off of decaf coffee. Oh my goodness. Um, um, I want to ask you though. So, like, I can't find the, the dang comments aren't working. Hello. Really, they're not even popping up for you. Trying. Dun they're dun, dun dun. Frozen. No. Nope. Well, I I see you saying hello. Trust me, they're all popping up for me. Okay. Well, if you wanna ask any sin-related questions. Cynthia went to college so, so she can read real fast. You know, I say that in my sessions when people question my ideas. <laughs> yeah. I they mean, they do the cares? same thing. They laugh at me. They get it. They get it. Um, so if you have any sin-related questions. Um... They're all kind of crazy, the questions. They're all kind of like, Morta Linda, I love you. Come yeah. to Brazil. We will come to Brazil, and we always do. I want. I haven't been to Brazil yet, but you know, we started the international journey, so maybe I'll be there soon. Yeah, and I know that a lot of the um, Brazilian fans love you. They do. And a lot they of love, a lot of me. Latin American fans love you. Oh, Michael says, "Say hi, Michael." Hi, Michael. Our Michael. Which Michael? Uh, um, my my brother, Michael. On my label. Oh, Michael. Oh, okay, Michael. I was like, sorry, oh, Michael's Michael. a bit of a common name, isn't it? No, it's uh, Michael's offended. He's called. She called. No, but my brother's him. name. My my brother's name is Michael. So I guess I have more than one brother. I have a label brother, and then I have a little brother. So that didn't help at all. <laughs> Tell me more questions. Um, no, but I want to ask you. This is like okay. in. This is like in the future for me. So okay. it's not a thing, but like. Like how, what does it feel like, like finding your love and like, you know, you're going to be a mom. Like what, what the, do you, do you think, what am I going to write about? Like, is that like, do you see you it? Like you find your partner, it's just like happily ever after and you have no problems. You all, you're crazy. <laughs> okay. So have so there's more to write, you have no friction to write about. You're not. Okay. Good, good, good. Good to know. It's, there is no there, there. I mean. You're going to always be working on yourself and your relationship and your relationship. Like, honestly, when Justin Timberlake put out that song Mirror, remember that? Yeah. Like, mm, I don't know when it was, early 2012 or something. Yeah. At first, everyone was like, what is this? And then if you read the lyrics, you're like, oh, yeah, that's completely true. And they are. Your partner is your mirror. And, you know... I don't know about you, but sometimes if you get me in front of one of those magnifying mirrors, like at a hotel, and all of a sudden I see my pores and like my whiskers, I mean, I won't leave that. I won't leave the hotel room. I'll be late for something by 30 minutes because I'll be like, I cannot believe I'm seeing all of these things I never saw that I might need to take care of. Interesting. You feel me? Yeah, so, I feel you. I get it. I get it. Don't put a magnifying mirror that close to my face. But that's what your partner is. Damn. And um, look, I mean, I'm sure there's lots, there's going to be lots of different feelings I'm going to be writing about in the future, you know, just yeah. because you like, and also like people partner up and have children and write amazing records and are re-inspired. I mean, this is a big part of life, so I'm sure I'll have a huge new muse. I mean, I I can't wait to see you embrace it. I like if I could give any advice to the people I look up to, the pop stars I look up to, I it would just be to like embrace the reality of their life and like not worry about like trying to be who you were in 2011. Like we, I think as a, a fan, like. I want to see who you are now. So yeah. that would be, not that I need to give you any advice, but. Yeah, I think evolution is beautiful. And I think, you know, someone I've always looked up or I've always looked up to 
that did the reinvention evolution game was Madonna. And, you know, yeah. she, she had all of these eras where she, you know, she had Lourdes and, you know, her first child. And like, when you look back on that, it's like, what an iconic time that was, that was her ray of light time. My mom and I listened to that um, record in the car all the time. And I guess it kind of makes sense because it was such a motherly album, wasn't it? I mean, yeah, it, it was It was definitely profound. Like, she definitely hit on something connective. And she was probably, I mean, she was really connected at that time as well. And, and she's a connected yeah. person in general. But, um, you know, as a messenger and growing a human. and But, yeah. That's I a love, great example. I lo love, I love, you know, I'm excited for all of my pop peers to step into the next, like, life levels as well it's gonna be really cool to see and like i'm like right behind you guys so i'm just rooting not for yet you, you know? <laughs> not yet honey not yet well you know but i was also gonna ask you being i think we have this in common we're both veering on the optimistic side of things do you see pop music kind of doing like a little bit of a shift from anxiety driven pop and like kind of going into like something a little more optimistic as we like to say yeah i gotta get a mophie oh my gosh um optimistic well you know the trends have been you know more hip-hop and urban leaning in the past couple of years and but we can find our way like for example drinks yeah, of course. I'm not worried. Stay true to yourself. And I think, you know, if you're staying true to yourself and staying on your course, then your time will come. Like, don't shift just because the wind shifts. Just be you, you know? I got to get my, yeah. Yeah. my Mophie. Which is like the, um, the like I think, most... Sorry. But people yeah. are, I think, you know, I think maybe the music... I'm waddling... I think the music is um, maybe a little anxiety uh, based because that's just the reality in, of the time. Because we're living in a much more anxious world. We're living but, in a more, mean, like, like a more when... depressed, sad, anxious world in social media, and like, oh, okay, you know, all that is is partially to blame for it. You know, the yeah. facade, the facade of of who you wish you were um, compared to the reality of who you are. I mean, Interesting. I don't know. Don't make me start no, to no. speak like a therapist. I feel that. I just mean, it's really interesting. And, you know, I've, I've said this in an interview before, like being writing optimistic pop music and, and being the odd one out. It's just a really interesting thing, I think. Because there's a lot of sad girls out there. Yeah. And, That's and so the I theme. Want, yeah. And then, like, now that times are changing, like, you know, do we, will our music reflect what we hope for, which is maybe something a little more optimistic? Like, it's going to be interesting to see. Well, you and I both will fill that void. Can't wait. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, we have only a couple more minutes left of drinking and talking about drinks. If you're just tuning in, I'm walking around my house. I'm trying to... We want to see the bump. Out. Let's be honest here. You want to see my bump? Yes, please. Ugh, when I bump you, bump. Just like that. <laughs> okay, I'll show you my bump. Just hold on one second. I'm just going to waddle to the bathroom. God, I need to take off all my bras that don't fit anymore. Got to put my vibrator away. <laughs> <laughs> you know, girl. Um, Alexa, never mind. I can't get into it. I really can't get into it. <laughs> what? No, no. Let's you just say, it. let's just say I needed to use my Amazon account because Alexa needed something, and she shares one with her mom. Ella. Oh, bless. <laughs> okay, this is me. Here I am. Bumping. Oh, my gosh. 
Uh, I know, like, like when I'm front on, it's it's like I'm not very. It's not. You can't see it, but when I'm I'm coming, she's coming in. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. Is she is she active? Is she kicking a lot? She's she's giving me the middle finger. Oh my god. And she's she's definitely starting to chatter. Wow. You look so good. I'm trying to keep it cute. Look a little crop top. It's so cute. Heck you know, yeah. a little crop top. <laughs> okay, stop. So cute. No, that was really cute. Um, but you know, life is happening. It's all happening, guys. Wow. I mean, I knew it was gonna happen. I didn't know I was gonna be the first one to know and have to keep it biggest secret ever. <laughs> but like, here we are. One of the firsts. <laughs> So sweet. I'm so happy for you. And I'm so, so thankful for how great drinks has been and how amazing I love the video and like number four most added to pop radio. Like only our team. Like amazing. Guys, if you're watching, like, oh my god, I'm so grateful. So wait, before we go, because we only have a few more minutes till six o'clock. Um okay. I wanted to ask about like it's okay if you don't have anything to offer or what you've been doing since you're talking about being a little anxious during quarantine. Um, was there anything that was helping you? I mean, like I, I, from my point of view, I have always been a person that has been like great with routine and meditating and working out. Um, but now this is like such an unprecedented time and you almost, like I'm better in a routine on tour than I am at home. Like when I'm yeah. going, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so I'm not really leaning. I haven't leaned on some of my trusty dusty tools, mental health tools that I used to. Um, mm -hmm. But, you know, we have different routines. Like we have dinner at like six thirty or seven with the kids and stuff like that. So um, but what are you doing? Cause you're quarantining by yourself. Like yeah. most people are with their family or with a crush. Yeah. You, you are literally just, just getting to know you, honey. Yeah. I mean, I think the routine is everything. Waking up at the right, like setting a time to wake up is really important. Um, is that what you do? Yeah, well, I mean, I try to wake up between, like, 8 and 9 every day. That's okay, good. Girl. I've been going on a lot of, like, solo walks. Uh -huh. That's helpful. But also, honestly, like, I don't want to, like, sound like this is a calculated answer. But, like, I've had to really think about how I can relate and engage my fans online. Like, I've really just kind of... I see you TikToking. Yeah, that, that. And you never really TikToked before. Never before have I TikToked. You're ticking so and you're talking. And I, I'm doing it the best I can. It's <laughs> <laughs> those dance moves are wild. I mean, not Listen, yours. I, just like I haven't like, done any dancing. Just like TikTok dance moves are wild. So that I mean, I've just been kind of like connecting with people online, but like. I really needed to take some time. I haven't been like single, single, single in a second since, I don't know, at the end of last year. And so that's been happening. You read books. You know what? I have, this is like the one time I'm not reading a lot. I'm writing a ton. I'm like, I have like, I almost call them like little hook poems where like I have like one hook in the poem and then like, they're like four or five lines of like a little beautiful description. They're almost like captions to a picture. And I've got like, hundreds of them now so we've just been kind of doing that but I saw writing some, and all that i saw something the other day where someone was saying artists don't write songs about quarantine after quarantine is done because we've already been through that mm. i mean obviously you should write about whatever you want to write but do you i mean do you think you'll have like songs from this time that kind of encapsulates this moment or my question is is 
are we going to want a television show about this time? Or we've like been like, I've been through it. I'm over it. Let's just like look at mm. a, look at life in a different lens. I mean, I hear you saying. I think that maybe we'll we'll want to look back. I mean, 75 years or something. I think as soon as this is done, we're not going to want to look back. But I think at one point in time, it will be a really interesting period. And like, maybe we'll want, like the poems I'm writing, I think some of them are interesting because they do reflect the reality of this time, but they may not be valuable to somebody unless it's the future. And they want to like, think about like what people went through. So do you know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. I mean, Shakespeare yeah. wrote during that specific time when what, what was it it wasn't um anyway like the bubonic plague was it i don't even it know was it was something like that here it's we like, are you, just yeah revealing no, how bad one of those things is. you see on instagram it's like well if you know if so and so can write this during the bubonic plague you can also write you know the best th or make or be creative and i'm like shit <laughs> I don't know. I, I think that pressuring yourself to, to perform during this time is like definitely, definitely not healthy, but that's I'm good advice. Sure, yeah. And, and also, but I, I'm sure we all have like a very honest, truthful account of things right now that wouldn't cause any harm by putting it down into words. Yeah. Yeah. Even if they're stupid words, it's like good to keep track of our experiences because future generations will want to look back and see what was up. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's interesting. Last yesterday, I did a lot of film from home things and I'm doing American Idol and, you know, it's all on iPhones or these pop up kits and it's pretty intense, like setting it all up or someone in your family member setting it all up or yeah. it's and having to direct yourself, light yourself, make up yourself, <laughs> you know. Put yourself in giant rolls of toilet paper. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that, yeah, that was, that was different. But it definitely feels like I, w it made me, it reminded me of the time where I was, where you, you know, are at, or we're starting at. It's like, it's when you're doing everything on your own. You're making it happen. You're hustling. You are starting the conversation. Right. And that's what you are doing now. And I admire. Um, so if you're tuning into this Instagram live, we have been talking about Sin, who is an incredible new artist and has a song out called Drinks. And you can check it out on all platforms. And there's a pretty cool video that goes along with it. And if you are listening to your local radio, local pop radio station, you can also request drinks to be played. And maybe, like, why don't, why doesn't every pop radio station play drinks at five o'clock on the dot? Anyways. I mean, why not? It's the drink song. What do they have to lose, really? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> well, Katie, thank you so much for coming on the chat. I miss you, and I think about you, and thanks for everything. Yeah, I mean, I love you, and I'm happy that you're that you're happy and you're sound and you're you know writing down all the all the feelings, and I'm excited for your future and always here as a fairy godmother of sorts my perry godmother your perry godmother and to i'm you. cinderella hello oh my god did you just make that up right now I'm no i've silly. told you this before you're silly um, now i'm just listening for the first time <laughs> wait i'm your perry godmother and you're cinderella oh my god God. Oh no, you took me out of my rags in Michigan and brought me to LA. I love it. It's I so know. fairy tale fun. Welcome to it's Hollywood. We're buckle up, y'all. Buckle Whoa. up. All right, guys. Well, we love you. Uh, we hope you're staying safe during this quarantine. Check out drinks from Sin and request it. Uh, on your local at your local pop radio station and 
you will be seeing more from her in the future in real life and me too can't wait for your album uh, don't tell them about that yet I, they ask me all the time and I want to respond do you think I know like I I don't even get to know I don't know things <laughs> just giving away exclusives right there everybody girl. who's always asking me I don't know shit please just giving away all kinds of exclusives, Cynthia. Cynthia! Please, Please. it's not me. Trust me. <laughs> all right. Love you. Have fun and drink a drink. I love you, too. Bye, Katie. Bye.